This video is for you, Emily, because you block me just like Haley, and it's the only thing that I can do. And I'm just trying to help all three of us. And I've figured things out now. All right, I want you to listen to what I discovered. All right, uh, in Hindu mythology, there's this god called Brahma. Okay. Brahma is the son of Maya and Brahman, the female and male energies of the universe or something like that. I forget what it is. And Hermes is the son of Zeus and Maya. Brahman and Maya, Zeus and Maya, the son of Zeus. And they also call uh, Brahma the son of God. And that's what Jesus is. <laughs> and, and Zeus was considered God in the Bible. And Brahma is like shown like sitting on a, a lotus flower, which is just like geometry. And I'm the inventor of geometry. I'm Thoth. I'm the grand architect of the universe. I created the entire physical universe. That's what I did. And like in Egypt, there's the, the creation myth where Thoth laid the cosmic egg. And in Hindu mythology, it's basically like Brahman and Maya uh, created the, the, the egg. And then what hatched from the egg was Brahma and Brahma created the entire universe. It's, it's literally the same shit. And it's like, you can't really like take, like, I feel like Hindu mythology can't be taken as literal as the other ones. Because it, the, the, the Hindu mythology just like connects a lot of the other ones. It just answers a lot of questions. I don't know how to explain it, but like, um, I remember this girl I talked to on Instagram. She says something about how like Jesus had a different wife than Mary Magdalene and her name was like Christina or something like that. And I, I remember reading about it and she was right. There's like some things on it, like either in the Bible or something else. But uh, it, it, I was reading in like the description for that wife that she was talking about was the description for Sarah's Warty. I think that's how you say it, which is uh, hermaphroditus. And uh, uh, Sarah's Warty is also Sashat from Egyptian mythology. And Sarah's Warty is my daughter. Brahma gave birth to Sarah's Warty. Like, I, like, like, she's, like, a part of myself. So Hermaphrodite is, like, a part of myself. I originally gave birth to her, like, just me, like, in this story. And in Egyptian mythology, Sashat is my daughter in one myth. <clears throat> and in another, she's my wife. It's just because they got it confused because she's both my wife and my daughter. All right? And Sashat is also uh, considered, like, sometimes the, uh, the inventor of writing... But the truth is that she invented writing in Hindu mythology and I invented writing in uh, Egyptian mythology. And yeah, like I said, they can they can they confuse us being wife and daughter, and then they also confuse like who invented letters and like where letters came from, and then like it's also like a uh, uh, in the Hindu mythology, it's like, it's like, uh, Saraswati is like the one who gave letters to he the humankind or something. I, I have to do like more research. I don't really know a lot about it, but, um, so, so yeah, like Brahma gave, like, like I, I like created my daughter, Hermaphrodite Saraswati. And the story goes that uh, Brahma had like three heads or one head 
and like he thought that his daughter was so beautiful and he would always like like look at her because she was so beautiful but she would always like move out of the way like move out of the way so he couldn't look at her so he had to like turn his head and he would create more heads so like so he had one then he had three so you could see like you know like three different directions and then he was like oh three isn't enough i'm gonna have five heads so the story goes, I had five heads so I could see all the way around me. And I could always see my beautiful daughter, who was also my wife. She's my wife, she's my daughter, and in, in, in all these different mythologies. And it's, it's, it's like I figured out literally everything, like and the, the best part's coming up. Like you gotta listen to like what the story says. Uh, let me see. Brahma, in addition to the learned and beautiful Sarasvati, had a second wife in the milkmaid Gayatri. An interesting story is told in the Skanda Purana of the rivalry and the subsequent reconciliation. Listen, O Devi, and I will tell you how Sarasvati forsook Brahma and he, in consequence, espoused Gayatri. The Vedas has, have declared the great advantages which are derived from sacrifice, by which the gods are delighted and bestow rain upon the earth. For this purpose, Brahma, Sarasvati, the gods, and the holy sages prepared or repaired to Pushkara, but when all preparations were made with all our rites and ceremonies for performing the sacrifices, Sarasvati, detained by some household affairs, was not in attendance, I'm reading too much of that. <laughs> that that wasn't important, <laughs> but um, uh, I did I I didn't I didn't say what I wanted to say. What what I what I read from this article was that basically like Sarah's Vati or Sarah's Varti. Hermaphroditus, my daughter, did something to me that was like shameful. And she and she said something like, "Why have you forsaken me?" Or uh, am I like like unforgivable or something? Like she like pleaded out or something like it was just like really it was just like really sad. Yeah, it was like it was like I. She did something where I kind of just like disowned her. And I, I said I wanted her Aphrodite. I said I wanted to be with Aphrodite, and uh, I I I married Aphrodite or something like that. And and we ended up saying uh, we'll we'll all be together like a threesome. Like listen to this. When Sarasvati returned, Brahma asked her what she wished him to do with Gayatri, and Gayatri threw herself at Sarasvati's feet, which reminds me of her kissing my feet. She raised her up and said, A wife ought to obey the wishes and orders of her husband. For that wife who reproaches her husband and who is complaining and quarrelsome shall most assertedly, assuredly, when she dies, go to hell. And what was I saying to my wife? I was like, Obey me or you'll go to hell. Remember when I was saying that? I was like, come here fucking right now and go to hell because she was fucking destroying me and she was in danger and shit. The hurricane and stuff, like. And she said, therefore, let us both be attached to Brahma. So be it, said Gayatri. Thy orders will I always obey and esteem thy friendship precious as my life. Thy daughter am I, O goddess, deemed to protect me. And all the gods were happy that I wanted to be with Aphrodite because they shamed me for marrying my daughter. She wasn't even like, she was like my daughter, but she was like, just like a part of me. So like, it was just weird. I don't know. He like shamed me for it. There's someone calling me right now. And um, what happened is Emily and Haley 
Aphrodite and Hermaphroditus, Martha Washington and Sally Fairfax, both said, let's both love Jesse. Let's both love Hermes, Brahma. Let's both love Jesus. You're, you're both my wife. Um, I remember like when I first started dating my, my daughter, I did have a fantasy about being with both of them. <laughs> I just did. Like it was, it's, it's, it, it would have been nice. It would have been really nice that, to have the two most beautiful girls in the world. But I don't need two. I only need one. And I know who that one is, and it's Aphrodite. It's like we always have these love triangles and there was the ultimate fucking love triangle where she was my wife and my daughter like i always say and and i loved aphrodite and they were both they were like you know it was both be with them and you know what i said to i think i said it to both emily and Haley. i said if you guys can't get over this jealousy then you should just both fucking be with me i said let's, let's just have a fucking threesome that's what i said because Emily is always jealous of me loving Haley, and Haley is way more jealous. Way more jealous of me loving Emily. Like, like every time I ever tried, like, talking to Haley, like, most of the time she would, like, say something about me and Emily and stuff. And, like, she was jealous of Sophie. She's more jealous of Emily, though. Like, just can't get over it like i don't get it like it's like it's like i choose you aphrodite Haley. i choose you and i love you and you're my wife forever and it's like emily is here for me when you're not and it makes me feel like she's the one that really loves me but i know that you both love me and you're just slacking <laughs> aphrodite is, is slacking the daughter's slacking too. She blocks me. I don't even know what I'm saying. They're both fucking slacking. But it's like, at least she dated me in this lifetime and she didn't fucking turn me into a fucking slave. She actually made me feel love. Like, like we held each other in a fucking love seat and I fucking left my body because I felt so much love for my daughter. I just, I just thought that was so incredible. It's like, it's like, she's my, Emily's my wife and my daughter. Like I always say, and it's like, it really repeats itself so many fucking times. And Haley's my wife. And it's like, it's like, it's like, at one point you were both like, let's all be together. Because you both love me. And it's like, you still both love me. <laughs> Uh, to be completely honest with you, I wish that I spent more time with Emily because Haley just treated me so bad. It was like when I was George Washington, I had Emily for my whole life until the day I died. And I'm sure she knew that I loved Sally, Haley. Wish I could have spent more time with my daughter because I, I really am just all alone and there's only one person I want. So it's like I really just have been alone for all this time. And I think about it, it's like it's like my daughter is is with some other guy. She already had a kid with him and stuff. I don't know how how she is treated by him. I don't know if he treats her like shit. You know, like, and it's like it's like my my wife 
is literally with the worst person she could ever fucking be with. The person who who is is literally my enemy. And the world's ending and I just want her here with me and not my enemy. And I want my daughter to not block me and hate me. And I want my wife to not block me and hate me. And I want us to all be a family again because that's what we are. And when we die, we'll, we'll all love each other again. So why not do it now? Why, why do I have to be alone? When I clearly am trying to show you how much I care about you and how much I love you. And I'm trying to solve problems now that, that go back thousands of years. Since the beginning of the fucking universe. <laughs> since the beginning of the universe. Like, like bad problem. I have, I have a lot of problems because of both of you that I'm trying to solve, and I, I I've solved the fucking problems. So the, the only issue now is is for both of you to accept the information that I'm giving you because it's the truth, and I love you, and I've tried so hard to 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 let you guys know that I care and I want you both in my life again. I mean, like, you guys are best friends. Say, so, yeah, I'm just, like, alone. I just, I just wanted to fucking save my wife and help her, and it, it, it's a complete nightmare. Like, not being able to save her. When I know that the world is ending and there's she, she's with a man that's literally the most evil man in, in the entire fucking universe. It's like, it's like, I don't, I just don't, it's like, I, I just don't even fucking understand, like, it's like, I just, I just feel like so fucking worthless that I can't even save the two people who I love the most. I, I like, they, they, they fucking hate me. And it's like, it's like, I literally can't do anything. It's like, the only thing I can do is just make a video that they're probably not even going to watch because they don't love me and they block me and they hate me. And the only thing they would ever want from me is money. I know that you both love me and I love both of you and uh, I'm sorry that you both feel the need to hate me. And I don't want to make videos anymore. I just want to be with Haley and I want both of you in my life again because I love you so much, and I, I fucking, I just showed up to five guys, and you were there, and I didn't even want to go there, it was like, life just like brought me back to you. As I, I, I could see that we were brought together, but but you didn't even want anything to do with me because you blocked me and you hate me, so I couldn't say anything to you. Huh? 
just like just just, just stop like what whatever you're you're both just just trying to put me through because I, I don't deserve being treated this way. I deserve love and respect. I give you love and respect, I should get love and respect back. And I, don't, I don't know why the goddess of love <laughs> Is is so hateful and, and and wants to ignore me and all this shit. I, I don't I don't know why. Like like like, I, like my daughter is like the smartest person I've ever met. And, and in Hindu mythology, she was the goddess of wisdom. And I remember in school, she always got like 90s, like, like, like almost perfect scores. Like she was just so smart. And it's like, I don't get why she can't look at a, a painting of, of her, literally her from the fucking 1700s and say like, like, oh shit, like, like, fuck. <laughs> like, like, like you're right. Like, like, like we're we're we were married hundreds of years ago, and and I'm your daughter, and all this shit. Like, like I, I'm surprised you can't just look at those photos and and just see it. Like, and then I explain like all this story about like the the mythologies and creation, and then the fact like I. Like I've been to heaven. It, it, it's it's like it's like it's like you guys are like like no no you're crazy ah, or I hate you and I don't want to be with you and, and and whatever but it's it's like I know the truth and I know that we're a family and we all love each other so it's like I don't know if if I don't know what the fuck's going on why you, why you guys fucking hating me why why do you guys want to hate me it's like like I, I'm I'm literally experiencing magic. I'm time traveling. Like, like, uh, like, it, it's it's a miracle what I'm doing for us being able to figure out all these things, and you guys don't appreciate it, and you don't appreciate me, and that's what I just just notice is like. Like, everybody's, like, cheating on their wives and shit, and there's always people getting divorced. It's like, people, they just don't respect one another. They don't love one another. They just fucking just don't value other people. Like, they just only care about their fucking selves. Like, like people, people cheat on the... Their wives or their husbands, and they they're, they're not bothered by it, or they don't care, they don't feel shame or guilt. And it's like that's 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 how my my wife and my daughter feel. They 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 feel like like cheating on me and hurting me and blocking me and hating me and saying terrible things to me. And using me for money and turning me into a slave is just no big deal at all.